Why do Muslims celebrate? Tonight, we are going to be reading my favorite book in Noor Kids history. After that, we are going to be giving away millions and millions. But no, seriously, we really are going to be giving away some incredible gifts and prizes for everyone who participated during the month of Ramadan. And we're also going to be meeting a special friend. With that, let's begin. No! What happened to my car? Let me explain. When I was seven years old, I had been asking my parents for one thing, and one thing specifically. A radio control car. Now here's the thing. There were different types of radio control cars. There were small ones, there were big ones, there were slow ones, and then there were fast ones. This was a type of radio control car that you couldn't even buy at a regular store. No, you had to go to a hobby store. You're able to pick out the specific engine. You're able to pick out the specific body. You're even able to pick out the shock, so that way it would be able to go over jumps and things like that. I remember for the month of Ramadan, I had asked my mom and dad, and I begged and I pleaded, and I said, oh my goodness, please! I want this radio control car more than anything! And my parents agreed. I remember when I got it, it was like... It was red and it was black and it was white. It looked like a Formula One car. That means it was really low to the ground with really big wheels on the side and a spoiler on the back. It even looked fast. I remember grabbing all of my tools like my screwdriver and my pliers and I had to put it all together. And after I put it all together, I went outside of my house in Maple Grove, Minnesota. I turned it on, and I pressed the button, and it went vroom. It was faster than I even expected. It was so fast that even my neighbors came out, Colby and Adam and Sam, and everyone was giddy. We made little jumps that the car would go off of. In fact, we even gave the car a name. We called it Thunderbolt because it was so fast. But soon, it started going slow. As I'd press the button, instead of it going vroom, it would start going vroom, 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 vroom. Time came when stopped working. I thought to myself, maybe, maybe I maybe made some installation mistake. Maybe one of the wires got unhooked. I mean, I built it. I could surely fix it. I opened it up. I looked at all the wires. I thought maybe one of them was unhooked a little bit. I made it tighter. I put on the on button. I said, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And I pressed the button and... What could it be? Maybe I didn't say Bismillah. Jake, maybe I didn't say Bismillah. I said, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Allah. I hope you're listening. I tried pressing the button and nothing. Colby and Sam and Adam, they're all looking at me. And I thought, man, this is not good. As they left, I fell to my knees. I said, no. This is my baby, this is a Thunderbolt! Why isn't Thunderbolt working? And then my older brother came and he said, Silly, you gotta charge it. I said, what? He said, I mean, you gotta charge the battery. And I said, oh, duh. I have to charge the battery. Now here's the thing. 
In the same way that our radio control cars need to charge their batteries, we need to charge our batteries too. And as Muslims, it's by having fun. Yeah, our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him, used to love having fun. And as Muslims, we need to have fun too. Two of our special days of celebration are Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Fitr happens after the month of Ramadan, which... Hold on, carry the one. Oh! It is after the month of Ramadan right now. And in fact, Eid al-Fitr was last week. So today, we are having our Eid party. And with that, we'll begin. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is me, Brother Amin, the author of Noor Kids and the leader here in the Muslim Treehouse where every Thursday and every Saturday throughout the entire year we get together for programs and classes that make us closer to our Creator. And yes, it's been a week since we last had a program, and it feels like forever, forever! But alhamdulillah, I'm happy now, because you're here. Let's say salam to some of the folks who are here, some of the persons in the program. All right, who do we got here? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I see, okay, I'm just gonna go to my own. Who do I see? I see Yahya from California, Fatima from Canada, Haya from New York, Miriam from Wisconsin, Nuraz from Dallas, Tejas. I see Amal, Isa, and Noor with big, big smiles. Isa and Musa, Nusayba and Rukaya, Naziha and Halima, Ayan from Massachusetts, Islamia from Duluth, Georgia. Georgia. I see Aida from America. I see Farhan, Mariam from the USA, Hidayah and Elia, Hanya and Sara, Ira from Chicago, Rumaisa from New Jersey. I see Heba from Austin, Sophia from Houston, Walid from Virginia, but originally from Morocco, Fardis Arfin from Portland, Oregon, Sophia, Isa and Mariam, Dahlia from Ohio, Yo, Allahu Akbar, Habiba from Iowa. Elena from Illinois. Elena Joe, as a matter of fact. Look, I'm not here to say salam to everyone, but by the way, it was a good group. It's the Muslim Treehouse group. So if you're not involved in the Muslim Treehouse, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, make sure that you join. So that way you don't miss out every Thursday and Saturday. And you can join for free, but you just have to make sure that you join. Um, now, here's the thing. Today, we don't have a small question. We actually don't even have a medium-sized question. No, we have a big question. Mm -hmm. Why do Muslims celebrate? But before we actually go to answer that question, look at this. Ah, it's so heavy today. I can barely even oh, hold it. Jake, what'd you put in here today? Let me let me take a look. No, T seriously. All right, so here's the thing. You guys, we're giving away $1,000 in cash today for kids who participated in the Ramadan camp. But not only that, we're giving away... Hold on, let me just see. We're giving away a vacation to the Dominican Republic. Yes! Yes! The day has finally arrived, but we'll be doing that at the end. Before we do that, we're going to be reading my favorite funniest story called Mine, 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 because it's fun. Let's head on over to the library, or some like to say, La Biblioteca. All right, uh, so I hope that you all had a wonderful, fantabulastic, expialidociously awesome Eid. Uh, I did as well. Um, and my question to you today in our Nearpod is what is your number one favorite way <coughs> to relax and have 
fun. Try to use the same name on Zoom as you use in Nearpod so that way I can call on you. And I want to share a couple of quick things as we are getting started. I did mention to you that today we're in the Muslim Treehouse, and we are. So look, if you want to join our Zoom programs, or if you want to join our Nearpod, or in our Flip community, you have to join on the Muslim Treehouse. Okay, so if you're not part of the Muslim Treehouse, you can join at newerkids.com slash treehouse. And by the way, um, in case you were wondering, yes, we are having fun right now. That's what we're doing right now. In the month of a April, we're doing, it's called Celebrating Eid for Good, just for fun. So there's a couple this week and next week, we're just having fun. In May, so starting in two weeks from now, we are talking about uh, the path of our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him. And we're learning about some of his sunnah. In June, we're appreciating Islamic art. So it's an entire month that we're focused on art. And then in July, we're le learning from leaders of Muslims from across the world. Um, it's called Muslims from Across the World. So we've got a lot going on every Thursday, every Saturday. If you're not part of the Muslim Tree House, join so that way you don't miss out. And the best part is you can contribute whatever you want. So if you can contribute a little bit, great. If you can't, join for free. All right, so let's see what people have got. Mariam from Wisconsin said she loves to read a book and eat a snack. I wonder what kind of snack she's eating or what kind of book she's reading. Yara says, Salam Amin, I miss Noor kids. I usually sleep. I love sleeping too, I'm not going to lie to you. And I missed you too, my dear Yara. Um, let's see some good ones. Geneva from Oklahoma says, spending time with family, doing things I love, hobbies. But my dear, what are your hobbies? What are they? Um, Ayan from Massachusetts says, gaming. Um, Sidra from Raleigh says, also playing video games. Um, Riffa from Australia says, playing netball. Islamia says, spending time with family. Malak from Alberta says, drawing, watching anime, listen to music, play piano, and play video games. Okay, okay, okay. Yusuf S says, having fun and relaxing with family. Uh, Maher says, playing video games. I'm curious what video games Maher is playing. Let's talk to Maher, see what kind of video games Maher is playing from PTBO Canada. Oh, but Maher, your video is off. Maher, can you turn your video on? No? Yes? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Assalamu alaikum, Maher. Are you, are you Maher like Maher Zane? No? Is it, is it a different? How do you say your name? Uh, like Maher Zain. So Maher Zain was named after you? No. Is it because you have the voice of an angel? No. Maher, you have the voice of an angel? <laughs> I love it. Okay. So Maher, tell me, what are some of the things you like to do for fun? I like to play video games, and the games I like to play on my video games is PlayStation 5 with, with uh, Nintendo, and I also like to play on that, FIFA, which is a soccer game, you and I also like to play these other games that make your, your, your mind smart, like uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and you like playing PIFA. Wow, so what is PIFA? It's is it FIFA. PIFA or is it BIFA? Is BIFA, FIFA. like do you try to eat? FIFA. You, in BIFA, FIFA, you try to eat as much beef as you can. No, with the F at the start. A BIFA, like a beef, like burger. Like a double burger FIFA. BIFA. FIFA, FIFA. B BIFA. No, FIFA. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Maher was going to throw the computer. He's like, no, FIFA. I know. I know what FIFA is. I know what FIFA is. You know, I actually have a favorite video game, too. It's called Age of Empires. Um, basically, in it, like, you have a city, and you try to make the city um, strong, and you try to defend it. I love it so much. And when I was, like, 13, 14 years old, I used to play it. And, in fact, I still, even now, you wouldn't believe it, but, like, last week... I played Age of Empires two times when I was on vacation um, because it's fun and I enjoyed it. Maher, good to see you, buddy. So, so, um, so you do have the voice of an angel. Is that is that? Can you can you, you do you want to sing something for us? Uh, 
No. You do. You do want to sing something for us? Yeah, I said no. I said no. <laughs> You can just do like Mary had a little lamb or, or like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. No way. Yeah, no come ways. on. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Mary had a little. My, was that you? No, I'm joking. That was me. That was me. That was me. That was me. Oh my goodness. All right. Fatima from Canada by sitting in the massage chair. You guys, I just sat in a massage chair this weekend. It was amazing. Um, who else we have? Um, ba -ba -da -dum. Chilling in a pool, says Noor and Nyla from Michigan. Dahlia says spending time and watching movies and shows while having a snack and stuff. Let's go to Dahlia from Ohio. I love Ohio. Ohio. Um, Let's see. There, yep. And Ma Dahlia has her video on. Let's do this. Assalamu alaikum, Dahlia. How are you doing, my dear? Good and yourself? Alhamdulillah. Hey, are those, um, is that art behind you? Uh, yeah. Did you, did you do that? No, these are printed and then I did that. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. But but you have to do it. Just keep it like keep it like steady, so we can see it nicely. That is so cool. That's so cool, Dolly. I'm so proud of you. You did that with pencil. Yeah. Okay, so Dolly, what are some of your favorite things to do to relax and have fun? So. I like to go on my trampoline. And I also like to like watch movies and like shows with my family. So, do you have a favorite show you like to watch with your family? Not really. Just maybe mainly just like movies, like new ones and stuff that come out. Nice. And is that like on a Friday or Saturday night? Like, where you're eating popcorn and just like yeah. going under the blanket and just drinking like juice and things? When you're having like supper and stuff. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. You know, um, my daughter, she doesn't really like movies right now, but we will watch TV shows. So um, we, uh, gosh, what are some of the TV shows that she really likes right now? Uh, yeah, well, she does like British Bake Off. We like watching, um, we like watching stuff like that, like that's like cooking. She also, uh, we're watching Magic School Bus right now. We like that. Um, there's one that's called Mira. That, that my daughter really likes. So, alhamdulillah, that's awesome, Dahlia. And um, did you have a wonderful Eid? Yes, did you? Alhamdulillah, I had a really, really wonderful Eid. Thank you for asking, my dear. All right, so um, thank you. Um, thank you so much. Now, here's the thing, you guys, all right? Every week when we come, and even every day during the month of Ramadan, we talk about various things. We read Quran. We say that you should pray. And we talk about being honest and patient and all of those things. But being Muslim also means that we have fun. Our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him, he would have fun. There were times when he would play with his grandchildren, Hassan and Hussein. And he would play, not horse, he would play camel. And they'd go on his back and they'd ride around. There were times when our Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be on him for fun, would go and play with his bow and arrow and do archery. He would go on the back of his horse and he would ride his horse. He would go swimming because as Muslims and as human beings, we have to recharge our battery. And during Eid, especially Eid al-Fitr, it's a day when we celebrate and we enjoy and we have fun. Now I know Eid al-Fitr was last week, but I was enjoying and I was having fun. I was visiting my family in Chicago. We were walking down different streets, sitting in massage chairs, playing video games, and most importantly, doing hugs and kisses with family. And so today, I thought of all of our books, I'm gonna read my, it's not like the one with the best lesson, but it's one that I enjoy reading the most, and I think it's the funniest. It's called The Chocolate Touch in a book called Mine, Mine, Mine. Mm -hmm. 
the chocolate touch. Bismillah rahman rahim Amin puts away the last toy. Phew, that didn't take as long as I thought it would, says Amin. Mom comes to see his clean room. Masha'Allah, you've done a great job, Amin. I think you've earned some chocolate. Amin's eyes light up. Chocolate? Just wait here while I get your treat, says Mom. The secret stash, thinks Amin. Amin's mom puts the chocolate in a special area. Amin sneakily follows mom downstairs. He tiptoes down the stairs and he peeks into the kitchen. He sees mom pull down a silverware box from the cupboard. Aha! That's where she keeps it, says Amin. Amin quickly returns to his room. Amin enjoys the delicious chocolate that mom gives him. The best ever, down to the last bite. When he ate the chocolate, he ate it and it was like, He tries to read a book. Oh, but no matter what Amin does, he can't stop thinking about the silverware box. He tries to read a book. He tries to draw a picture. He tries to play a game. The only thing better than chocolate is more chocolate, thinks Amin. Later that evening, Amin cannot sleep. I'll just take one more chocolate. Mom won't even miss it. Tiptoes through the hallway down the stairs. In the kitchen, he uses the chair to climb up onto the sideboard and he opens up the cupboard. There it is, my very own treasure chest. One by one, Amin eats the chocolates. Om! 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 It's so good. It's so good. I can't even stop. Mm. It's just too good. Oh. After eating several pieces of chocolate, Amin falls asleep and he begins to dream. In his dream, he's walking outside and he sees a tall street lamp. Hey, where did that come from? Amin touches the street lamp and it turns into Chocolate. Yum! The only thing I love more than chocolate is more chocolate. Amin takes a bite and then he sees a little bird. Come here, sweet little bird. The bird lands on Amin's hand and it turns into chocolate too. <gasps> what? No way. Amin takes a bite. Yum! Amin sees a dinner table set with a tray of lasagna as the main dish. Allahu Akbar! I love lasagna, says Amin. Amin pulls out the chair to sit, and the chair turns into chocolate. Uh oh, I guess I'll have to eat while standing, says Amin. Amin can't wait to dig his teeth in the lasagna, but when he picks up his fork, it turns into chocolate too. I guess I'll have to eat with my hands, says Amin. When Amin touches the lasagna, no, no. When Amin touches the lasagna, it turns into chocolate too. <laughs> No! <laughs> the lasagna turned into chocolate. And it was like, it was like so delicious, but like now, now it's like chocolate. And all he wanted was like the cheesy goodness. Like it was so cheesy. No. Too much drama. Not enough drama. Seriously. I think that was too much. I'm pretty sure it was too much. Not enough? 
Seriously? You didn't think that was enough? Okay, hold on. No! Nay! My lasagna! No! All right, that's enough. That's enough. All right, I got to put my glasses back on. I, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know why I take off my glasses. I actually don't have very good visions when I take them off. Like, I, I can't even see. But I feel like when I take it off, it's like more dramatic, you know? So I'm like, no! But like, in real life, in real life, if you wear glasses, like, you don't actually take them off. You don't actually take them because then you can't see. But I just do it because it adds a little bit of, you know, like, spice to like the, you know? Okay. I feel like maybe I should wear props. Like, because if I had a hat, and if I took off that, you know, to make it even more drama. Anyways, all right. No, I don't want any more chocolate, says Amin. Mom appears. What's wrong, Amin? Mom reaches out to hold Amin. No, don't touch me. You'll turn into chocolate too. Terrified, Amin wakes up from his dream. What a nightmare. Mom, Dad, and Hasib are there to greet him. I'll say, young man, and you've... Got some explaining to do. Uh-oh. All right, some questions for the audience. All right. Let me call on Marhama and Alia. Let me call on Marhama. I don't think I've chatted with Marhama before. Assalamu alaikum, Marhama. How are you doing, my dear? Can you hear me okay? Yes. So, Marhama, how old are you? I'm 10. Wonderful. And Alia, how old are you, my dear? Six and a half. Six and a half. Okay, wonderful. So, Marhama, let me ask you first. In this story, Amin really liked yeah. chocolate. And he got all the chocolate he ever wanted. But was he happier? No. Why wasn't he happier, Marhama? Because every time he came into chocolate and then he, didn't, he wanted other stuff. I mean, if you had all the chocolate in the world and everything turned to chocolate, would that kind of ruin your life? Yes. It would ruin your life, right, Marhama? It wouldn't be a good thing. It'd be kind of a terrible thing. Do you think having everything we want all the time is probably a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. It's probably a bad thing. Too much of anything, no matter what it is, would probably not be very good. Hey, Marhama and Alia, it was so nice to meet you. Can I, Marhama, can I ask you for one big thing? Can I, can, can I get a little smile? Just a little smile. Uh, come on, but a little bit of teeth. A little bit of teeth. Please, Marhaba, please. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Eid Mubarak, my dear. Nice to meet you guys. All right, very good. So here's the thing. Um, that story uh, is a really interesting one. Why is it so interesting? Well, we're not done with it. But... Even having all the chocolate in the world, it may not actually make you happier. Let's read on. The thing is, I love chocolate. It's so delicious. When it hits your throat, it's like a little bit of heaven. So I wanted more and more and more, says Amin's older brother. I'm very disappointed in you. That wasn't yours to take, says mom. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. That's no excuse, son, says mom. Mom cleans up the empty wrappers, and Dad puts the silverware box back in the cupboard. How do you feel now? asks his older brother. Miserable. In my dream, I had a magic power. Everything I touched turned into chocolate. That sounds like a dream that you'd enjoy, says his older brother. Yeah, at first, but then it was just too much. Even the lasagna turned into chocolate. A mean size. I just wanted some chocolate. This is when his older brother said something, and I want you guys to pay attention. This is the important part. Wanting something is not bad, 
but wanting something so strongly that you're willing to do something wrong to get it, that's not good. And wanting so much of it isn't good either. Hasib playfully pokes Amin in the belly. Hasib, just playing little brother, I love you a choco lot. I love this story. And not only is it funny, and not only does it teach an important lesson that having everything you want doesn't actually make you happier, but it talks about a really important concept as Muslims. Balance. I want you to say it with me. Balance. You've all tried to do it. You know, when you're trying to tiptoe across like a log and you try to balance without falling down or... If you've got two things and you try to weigh them and you try to balance the weight, as Muslims, we follow our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on, on him, and we try to follow a balanced life. That means that, yeah, we do spend time having fun, but that's not our whole life. Yeah, we do spend time learning, but that's not our whole life. Yeah, we do spend time with our family, but that's not our whole life. Yeah, we do spend time in prayer, but that's not our whole life. No, we stay balanced. And on a day like Eid, one of the things we think about is spending time for fun. Fun for the sake of God. Now, with that said, uh, we did something really fun this Ramadan. We had a leaderboard. So... As you know, we were doing challenges, and let me actually show you in case you forgot about it. We had a flip community, okay? And uh, the flip community was for the month of Ramadan where we asked you to participate in different activities. Our Ramadan flip community is now finished, and now we have the Newark Kids Treehouse flip community where we will be doing different activities. But there were 10 students who participated the most during the month of Ramadan. And those participants got the most points on our leaderboard. So we challenged them. We asked those 10 students to participate in a final activity where we let them do basically what they wanted. They could either share a story, a message, a learning, share a fun skit. And there were six students who participated. Today, we are going to be watching all six of them. And you, our viewers, are going to decide who wins. And they are going to be getting special prizes. But at the end, it's not just them who are gonna win. All of us are gonna get a chance to win. So I'm going to mosey on over to the laboratory where we're going to do this. But um, actually, I... Um, hold on one second. I, I have to take this. Give me a second. Hello? Oh, you need me to... Right now? Okay. Hey, Jake. My wife just called. She said I got to go. Um, but we have the guests coming. We do. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to play a quick uh, message from the Norkids Treehouse, and then uh, hopefully the guest will be here, and we'll watch, those, uh, we'll watch those submissions. Let's do it. The Muslim Treehouse. We've all been there. Trying to teach our kids about Islam. You better drink this. And it just feels forced. Don't worry. We've got you covered. I'm excited to introduce you to the Muslim Treehouse a global online classroom where Muslim kids from all across the world laugh, learn, and love Islam together. Every week, we host two Khutbah for Kids programs. Families from all across the world can join live or watch a replay. We discuss fundamental questions. How can prayer change my life? Why do Muslims eat halal? Allahu Akbar, lasagna! Why must I treat elders with respect? Elders, very right. We invite change makers, authors, athletes, poets, politicians, and more so that our kids get to meet real life role models.
Oh, good to see you. Good to see you, everybody. It is me, Mr. Amin. Sorry, I just got here. Brother Amin had to go something about the phone call. I don't know. Now, I have to tell you, there was another guest who was going to be here today. She, uh, her name is Nadia. Hold on, let me see if she's in. Oops. Oops, oh, there she is. There she is. That was so weird because... I swear I saw something green, but now she's in there. Salam Nadia, good to see Salam, good to see you. She's not moving. I don't know, Jake, why is not she moving? I don't know. Hello, hello. Moved. Oh, she did. Hello, <laughs> wow, she moved. Okay. Sister Nadia is inshallah going to join us next week. Next Thursday, she's coming. Okay. Um, because we're going to do the giveaway thing so much, so much. It'll be so much fun. But Nadia, we'll see you later, okay? Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, very nice. Okay, we'll put this down over here. Now, like Brother Amin did mention to you, there were approximately six people who did some super duper special things, okay? And they did the leaderboard. And so they did the videos. Inshallah, now one of them is going to win grand prize. Second one will get second prize. And third one will give third prize. Lots of money, inshallah, that we will be doing. So, so here's how we are going to do it, okay? We are first going to join the Kahoot, okay? Uh, which, by the way, is Kahoot on my computer or on your computer, Mr. Jig? Okay. So you will join Kahoot and I cannot pick because I'm Mr. Amin. I cannot pick. Okay. But you get to pick. Okay. We want you to join the Kahoot and then you will, inshallah, be able to select who the winners will be. Okay. First prize will get $500. Second prize will get $250. Third prize will get $100. MashaAllah. And these students, you know, they did a special thing because they were in the... They were in the program. Now, the problem is, Brother Jake, nobody can see Kahoot code. Uh, they did, but... Um, I'll get you. I'll fix it. Nobody... I cannot see. I'm sorry. I cannot see. There we go. That is Kahoot code. Okay. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, they've been calling me up, they've been saying, uh, Mr. Amin, okay, now, what did you do for a day of Eid? Now, here's the thing. I uh, am cardiologist. I, you know, I, I fix people's heart. So, it is tough for me to take a day off, you know. I'm always so busy taking care of people, different, different things. But on the day of Eid, something happened. Okay, I got a phone call from one of my friends, Mr. Hassan. Okay, he called me up. He said, Mr. Amin, I'm having a special grand opening for my laundromat. He has many laundromats. So I went there. You know, we drank some chai, we ate some cookies, you know, it was good. And, um, and so that's what I did. You know, that's basically what I did. I spent time with my friend. And then they asked, you know, Mr. Amin, what do you do for fun or relaxation? Very simple, you know, you can probably tell. I do lots of working out. You know, me, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you may have seen him, you know, very big. I, you know, mashallah, I, I've helped him, you know. So I, I work out quite a bit and, you know, um, that, that's basically what I do. Okay, that's my thing. So now that we've answered those questions, we are going to go to our first of six videos. Okay, now you guys can join the Kahoot. We will be ranking the videos as we see them, inshallah. But let's watch the first video right now. This is the first submission, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abdurrah. I'm eight years old and I'm from Mark of Canada. Today I'm doing a puppet show about obeying your parents. Musa, Musa, look at this mess. Your Lego is all over the place. Can you please clean this up? Oh, mom, I hate cleaning up. 
And why do you always give me instructions? I'm so fed up. Hmm, come here, dear. Let me tell you something. Did you know that respecting and obeying your parents is mentioned right after the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran? Wait, mom. I know this ayah. Our Arabic teacher told us about it. Allah says, be kind to your parents. And when they reach old age, never disrespect them. And say, my Lord, have mercy upon them as they brought me up when I was small. Good job, Musa. What else did your teacher say? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Disobedience to parents is one of the major sins of, of Islam. And also obeying your parents is a means of entering paradise. Uh, I am so sorry, mom. Will you please forgive me? Of course, Musa. Even if a child makes a mistake, parents never stop loving them. I love you. I love you too, mom. Inshallah, if I win, I will do that to the kids of Palestine. Allahu Akbar, Masha Allah, it was too good, it was too good, oh my goodness, Abdur from Canada, Allahu Akbar, he created puppets, he created the skit, he even got his mom to be in the program with him, the puppets were good, the show was good, Allah, mwah, 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 so good, I have never seen so good. Oh, my heart cannot handle. I cannot handle. It was a very good one. It was a very good one. Okay. So now, um, this is the way we are going to do it. Okay. After every one of the persons, you will get to say how you think they were. Good, great, amazing, or supercalifragilisticexpialidociouslyawesome. Okay, you get to pick. The student who gets the highest number of super duper califragilistic expialidociously awesome, that is the student who's going to win. Okay? So let's do it. Start. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You guys get to pick for Abdur from Canada. Is this the first one? This is the first. Yep. Okay. Abdur from Canada. You can pick which one you want. Abdur from Canada. How do you want him to be? Did he do supercalifragilistic expialidocious? Did he do amazing? Did he do great? Or did he do good? How do you think he did? Ladies and gentlemen, you pick. Okay, tell us what you think about him. And if he wins, he will get $500. Mashallah. Second place, $250. Okay, so he got, how many was it? I cannot see. 319. 319 out of how many? Can you do the math for me? Three nineteen out of I can do the math. Can you just tell me the numbers? 319 plus? 225 plus? You know, brother Jake, you have calculator on your phone, my friend. There was 867 volts. 867, is that true? Okay, so this is some serious Noor Kids math happening here. Okay, super serious Noor Kids math. I am cardiologist, good thing. So 319 divided by 867 equals 36.7 percent. Okay, let us see if somebody can beat 36.7 percent. Okay, I, I see that. You could just do full screen on me maybe without it when I go there. Anyways, we are going to now do the next video. Assalamu alaikum, kids. My name is Almay. I live in London and I'm six years old. And this is the boat I built from Lego. 
I think the similar one was used by both his Unus and the Asylum. I like how the part happened when he jumped up to the boat because that was an overload. And how he was swallowed by a whale and he was the only brothers who was punished by Supano, Allah Subhanahu Ta'ala. And uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala made him get out all the fish on the island. And when he was fine, he returned to his nation. And all of them became a Muslim. So never lose hope and always ask for forgiveness. If I will win main prize, I will divide it into three parts. In part I will send to help people in Palestine. In part I will give to my local Islamic center. And third part is I'm gonna buy tickets to chat to see my grandparents again. I love this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Almir from London. Mashallah, the whole time I saw the video. All I could think about is how much I want to drink wo'a, wo'a, wo'a. Because, mashallah, he has a very good, uh, you know, from England. He told a story of Prophet Yusuf, alayhi salam, and he's six years old, mashallah, six years old. So he did a good job, I think. Okay, so now you get to pick, okay, for Almir from London, how do you think he did? Did he do good did he do great amazing or super califragilistic expialidociously awesome and based off of where you pick we will see how he does inshallah now brother jake when i go full can we do full screen without the uh, screen share or no yeah is that possible yeah. okay very good very good because then we can see what the answers will be so now he got 299 Okay, 299. I'm going to go. There we go. Okay. What was his name, by the way? Do you remember? Almir. Almir. Okay. Almir. Okay, so he got 299 divided by how many was the total votes? Two ninety nine divided by how many votes? Um, uh, I see eleven fifty nine. Okay, eleven fifty nine, which means two ninety nine divided by eleven fifty nine is twenty five point seven. Okay. 25.7. So, Abdur is still in number one. Almir is now in number two. Okay, let us see the next video. My name is Mira Baman. I'm five years old. Once upon a time, there was a kind man named Mr. B. I need mushroom to make soup. Oh, who is there? Assalamu alaikum. It's me, Mr. Fox. I have lost my way and I am hungry. No worries. I have some food to eat. Let's hear. Here you go. Jazakallah. You are so kind. Wa yakum. In Islam, we are encouraged to be kind to all. Now, Allah is. Allah is. He's so kind. I should pay it forward. I am hungry. Will you help me? Sure. Let's share. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, The best among you are those who are best to others. So, Mr. Ford and Mr. Lee became good friends. Alhamdulillah. I will, I will make home for spray cats and dogs training and they have no hope. Hope you like it. That is no good. Allahu, Allahu Akbar, Masha Allah, Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Sister Mirab, she I think was probably six or seven years old, Masha Allah. 
and at just six or seven years old, what did she do, Mirab? She did a skit, she created puppets, she did different voices too. I heard the different voices. Doing different voices is not easy. It is not easy. Believe me, I know because I see other people do it. Doing different voices is not easy. Okay. And did you see what she said? She said, if I get the money, I am going to take care of the different cats. That is so cutie. That is number one cutie, I think. Okay. So now you get to pick. Okay. Did Mirab do good? Did she do great? Did she do amazing or super califragilistic, expialidociously awesome? You get to decide what do you think about Sister Mirab. Because we will see what you do and based off of what you do, we will decide who is going to be winner. I don't know. Could be 500, could be 250 dollars, could be 100 dollars. Let us see. How did Sister Mirab do? What do you think? Mirab got 386 out of how many? So Mirab, we are writing it down. Mirab, 386 divided by, we're just going to add it up, do the addition. 1200, 1200. Okay, so let us see Mirab 386 divided by 1200 equals 32.1%. So she is currently in second place. Almir in third place. Number one is Abdur. Okay, let us go to the next one, inshallah. We have three more, just three more. I live in Crystal Lake. Story of Prophet Muhammad, please be upon him. The lesson behind a healthy lifestyle. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was always health conscious, was mindful of his food choices, such as dates, barley, pomegranates, and more. He always made sure to stay healthy so he can worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu always taught people in Medina about physical activities and diets but the people in Medina didn't care slowly the people in Medina lost connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and continued to disobey him sallam. even though he went through challenges and educating people he remained patient and continued his speeches in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's important to fulfill a healthy lifestyle to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you're really dizzy and tired, you're not able to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us health as a gift, so we should all take care of ourselves. And what I'm going to use with the $500 is I'm going to buy products from Palestine, donate to the poor in Chicago, and give money to my local masjid. Hope you like it. Allah is in our kid. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Samreem from Crystal Lake. Chicago. Now, she, Samneen, mashallah, she created her own book. That is pretty incredible, okay? Because, you know, to create a book, you have to first draw it, you have to write it, you have to do all those things, then you read it, okay? And all of the things that she talked about were what? These are things that are part of the tradition of our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So I think she did, mashallah, very good. Okay, very good. So now you get to pick, okay? How do you think this sister of ours did? Okay, Sister Samreen. Did she do good? Did she do great? Did she do amazing or super califragilistic? Expialidociously awesome. You pick. Now again, Deciding by you, you pick, winner will get money, mashallah, lots of money, become rich, millionaire, not millionaire, actually, not close, but, you know, alhamdulillah, very good, you know, be quite nice, you know, so let us see, answer is what, she got 363, okay, 363, Samreen, Three sixty-three out of total number. Brother Jake is going to tell me. Fifteen eighty-eight. Wow. Okay. So that means, 
hold on, let me do this. 363 divided by 1588 equals 22.8. Okay, so right now Abdur is in number one, Mirab is in number two, Almir is in number three, Samreen is in number four. Okay, let us go to the fifth Hello, one. There's Malibu. only two more. My name is Zakriya and I'm from. Lahore, Pakistan. I'm seven years old. Let me tell you one of the stories of the prophets. So here is how it goes. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Lahab and his wife make mockery of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and they join with the libel clan. Even when Bin Hassan was on social boy, some of them are really good. On this point, Surah Lahab was revealed. The, the thing I got inspired was the how Holy Prophet behaved. He continued giving his message. So, when walking on Islam, many people may say you a lot of things, but you don't have to stop working on it. So let me tell you what I'm going to do with the prize money. I'm going to donate a good amount to a cancer hospital nearby. That is it. Allah face. Have a nice day. Mashallah, Zakaria, what a cute little boy, handsome boy, inshallah, going to become future scholar of Islam. You know, he told a good story about our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And you know, Zakaria is a very young boy. I'm very proud, I think, of what he did and, you know, what he wants to do with his money. So now you guys get to pick what you think, okay? Again, we are looking to see... What percentage will do supercalifragilistic expialidociously awesome? So do you think he did good? Do you think he did great? Do you think he did amazing or super duper? You get to pick inshallah and we will see compared to the other kids. And there's only one more after Zakaria. So let us see, you know, where we land. Mashallah, I see all of you are participating. Very good. Okay, so the answer for Zakaria is... 325, okay, 325, Zakaria. I'm going to say Zakaria. Okay, so he has a 325 out of how many? This is math, you know, there's division, multiplication, so on and so forth. We're doing division right now. 1234, okay, 12. 34 this equals what 325 divided by 1234 equals 26.3% so right now brother abdur is in number 1 sister mirab is in number 2 number 3 is zakaria let us see the sixth and final one to see who will be the winner. I'm Nisha and I'm seven years old. We're from St. Louis, Missouri. Now we're going to tell you why you should visit St. Louis. St. Louis is hosting its very first deep carnival. Wish you could join us. All proceeds go to Palestine. which is in Forest Park, and there are even penguins, polar bears, and so many other animals. It's all free, and I know how much parents love free things. St. Louis Zoo is completely free, just like a lot of things in Forest Park, like the Science Center and the Art Museum. St. Louis is known as Cardinals Nation. We are home to the best team in the dunya, the Cardinals. Go Cardinals! at the St. Louis Gateway Arch. The Gateway Arch is the tallest monument in the entire U.S. We hope you liked the tour of St. Louis.
If we win, we will donate all our money towards building a new masjid here in our city. MashaAllah, Zinya and Anusha. It was good, but I don't know. I, in Noor kids, we always try to share the things that are true. And now they said some things. I just don't know if it is factually correct. They said St. Louis is best place, but everybody knows, I think everyone knows, best place is Minnesota. So how could they talk about St. Louis? I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure. Minnesota is number one, but you guys get to pick. You guys get to pick. How did they do? Did they do super duper califragilistic? Did they do good? Did they do great or amazing? Okay, if they get the most, then they could be the winner. Okay, again... Winner will be getting special, special prizes, special prizes, inshallah. It's kind of exciting. It's first time we're doing here in Noor Kids, giving away cash prize. Pretty fun. And these kids deserve it. You know, they did a good job. Okay, so answer super duper was 365. Okay. So, and their name was what? Anusha, right? I thought they did very good. I was very impressed, honestly. I thought they did wonderful, mashallah. Uh, one, two, five, four, Okay, so there we have it. We have all of the things. So we have the winners. Number three, who is going to be getting a gift of $100, is Sister Anusha from St. Louis. Because 29.1% of the people said that she was the best. Number two, we have Mirab. Who got 32.1%? They will be getting $250. And number one, the winner is Brother Abdur, who got 36.7% of the respondents. MashaAllah, you are the winner. Now, many of you might be wondering, but what about me? Can I be a winner too? Yes. Yes, you can be a winner. Today we are doing the biggest giveaway in the history of Noor Kids. We are giving away two tickets, all inclusive, to the Dominican Republic, mashallah. Before we do the giveaway, let's watch a video about the Dominican Republic and what it is all about. Now, mashallah, Miss uh, Brother Amin had an opportunity to go on this trip with his family before. And I have to tell you, he told me it was amazing. All Muslims, all you can eat halal, all inclusive, meaning you can eat as much as you want, drink as much as you want in sunny, sunny Dominican Republic. Allahu Akbar, too nice, too nice, too nice, too good to be true, cannot be true. It is true. No, cannot. It is true. 
We are doing it courtesy of our friends at Husna, Husna Travel. So how can you win? This is how you win. If you go to noorkids.com, noorkids.com slash giveaway. Giveaway, okay? Noorkids, can they see it or no? I don't know. If th screen. Yeah, but they cannot see the top though. Like the URL? I'll no. Okay, hold on. I'll just put it down over here, okay? It is, if you go to noorkids.com slash giveaway, okay, just like this, it will come to this over here, okay? Now, your parents can look. It is a five-day vacation at Nickelodeon in Punta Canta, Dominican Republic at a four-star hotel. The mom and dad put in their contact information, family's information, okay? And they're entered. Okay, so now if I do this, let me do it real quick. I'm going to enter amin.asaratmoonurkids.com, put the kids, enter to win. Now, once you enter, you can get even more entries. If you subscribe to our YouTube, subscribe to our Instagram, Husna, Facebook too, or if you share it with your friends on WhatsApp, then you will get even more entries, so you'll get a better chance of winning. Next Thursday, during our Muslim Treehouse program on YouTube in here, we are going to pick the winner. And the winner will get two tickets, inshallah, for free that they can go. It is Eid Mubarak to everybody, and inshallah, it will be something so much fun. So the website, just to remember, you can do it right now, noorkids.com slash giveaway. Okay, noorkids.com slash giveaway and you can enter, inshallah. I wish you all the best. Inshallah, you will win, hopefully. We don't know. And please do, uh, do it so that way you can benefit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I want to thank you so much. Now, we have program on Saturday. Saturday, we have another program, inshallah, just for fun. And next Thursday also. Okay, we will see you later. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.